105 are stalled on the starting grid, Peter Brock. And hey, welcome to another heavy metal diecast video. Our first edition, of course. And today's bad boy we have is from the 1992 Bathurst, which was uh, a race once again dominated by the turbo cars, unfortunately, uh, with the Nissan Skyline winning Bathurst for the second time in a, year, in a row in a, a bit of a rain-affected race uh, that year. The race was actually declared after only 143 laps due to the uh, rainstorm that uh, did trigger so many accidents and it was deemed too dangerous to continue, continue the race. So uh, today's beast is is uh, a, a Mobile One racing car, the, the car driven by Peter Brock and Emmanuel Arauta. Uh, I think it's a pretty pretty good rendition. This is a VP Commodore, so obviously 05, good old Peter Brock's uh, number. And uh, this, uh, they unfortunately didn't have a great start to the race. They finished in a you know, disappointing 27th place. Uh, sitting on lap 118 at the time that the race was declared after breaking a tail shaft at the start line. So that was uh, a bit of a bummer, but um, they did continue on after repairing that, and they ended up breaking a second one, I think, throughout the race too. So not having much luck whatsoever. But I suppose a bit of better luck than the uh, Nissan drivers did uh, after jumping on the podium and getting the uh, the famous boo reception from the Ford, Ford and Holden racing fans. So let's have a look at this beast right here. And uh, as you can see, the library is a typical uh, Mobile One racing library. It is a very tidy, tidy unit. It is by Classic Car Lectable, and it is 118th scale. The, as as these are, and the, the detail is really really nice. We'll uh, we'll flip her on the back, and obviously these are a numbered edition. It's uh, got some really bright blue underneath there on the, on the chassis there, but it does have the uh, sort of the rubber feel to the tires. The uh, steering does manipulate and everything like that, so it does steer nicely. Has some fantastic detail underneath. Has all the uh, uh, the tail shaft <laughs> um, and uh, all the diff and the engine components and all the suspension components, all the, all the wires and everything like that, cables and, and hosing and everything. It's uh, very, very nice indeed. So we'll flip her back over and have a look. We'll check out the very, very important part straight away. We'll check out that uh, that engine in there. So the Holden uh, V8 there and... That detail inside there is absolutely insane. <laughs> it is crazy, the level of detail in there. Uh, as per usual, these are fantastically done. Oh, the hinges for the bonnet and everything, really perfectly done. Uh, bonnet does open nicely, and uh, so you can see all the nice detail in there. I think uh, overall it is fantastic. Um, I, I think it's, it's great. Very good. It's got the strut and everything there, so I think it's really nice. So um, what we'll do is we'll uh, go back on the passenger side and have a bit of a look on that side. And as you can see, the the you know it's got all the sponsors and library on there. Uh, it is another two E's one thousand race. Uh, I think it it has some fantastic detail inside the car. I think overall this is a really really cool rendition of this vehicle. Um, you will not be disappointed. We'll have a look in the boot and have a look inside there. And what do we have, have in there? And obviously you can see all the detail inside there for the fuel cell and, and all, all the pipes and leads and everything for that too. I think that is really, really cool. So we'll uh, close that up. And, uh, you know, it's got the sponsorship on the back there. Nice spoiler detail. It's got some fantastic rear demister detail on that, that rear glass. Um, what we'll do is we'll check inside the car. All four doors do open, so this whole car does open up on it, doors, everything, so you can display it all open up. But we'll open the business end up and have a look, a real good look inside the driver's side, and so you can see nicely in there. And as you can see, there's the level of detail in there is really, really good as well. It's uh, just crazy that how much detail they do put in there. The the racing harness, all of the switches, the buttons, the the dash, everything in there. And um, I think it's really well done. Uh, can't complain about that, um, I don't think. So obviously, yeah, these are only available on the secondhand market. So that is where you'll sort of um, have to find one if you have not already got your hands on to one of these. Um, that is the unfortunate part. But uh, I think overall, this is a, 
no, another tough looking beast, another 05 Commodore uh, for Peter Brock. And um, unfortunately, didn't get a, a good result for him, but um, you know, you can't win every race. But I, I think it's a very, very good uh, rendition of the VP Commodore. So, yeah, def definitely grab one if you can ever find one. Um, it'll sit nicely on the shelf. It does, you know, present well. I think it's a, you know, as I said, it's a tough looking unit. And the library is a very nice library. So, I, uh, I think you'll enjoy having one of these on your shelf too. So, all right. So, I will we'll leave it at that. And, um, you know, the deal, I'll take some photos of this bad boy without the sausage fingers in the way. Uh, if you did enjoy the video, you know, give us a like. That'd be fantastic. And even subscribe to the channel. Everyone's subscription is immensely appreciated. Thank you so much to those that have already done it. And, uh, yeah, I'll, uh, yeah, chuck this on a turntable, whack the photos up at the conclusion of this video, which is coming right up, and you can check this beast in all its uh, metal glory. All right. So, once again, this is by Classic Collectibles. It's 1.8 scale full die cast, obviously, with the plastic accessories, and it is the Mobile One Racing VP Commodore, as raced at the 1992 Bathurst 2E's 1000. All right, guys, thank you so much for sticking around and checking out the video, and you have a great rest of your day. Cheers, guys. Stalling at the starting line. A magnificent, there is shot of 05 Peter Brock. What a tragedy for the Holden fans.